Greetings, everyone, and welcome to About to Set a Nation. So for today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up the ReDream emulator for Dreamcast. And for those who don't know, ReDream is one of the best Dreamcast emulators out there. And with version 30 about to set, I finally made it to About to Set. So let's go ahead um, and play with this. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is press your select button. Go to Advanced System Options and uh, select Redream. Okay. All right. So that's done. All right. Let's go ahead and select this game. All right. Go ahead and press your hotkey. That's going to bring you to the Redream uh, menu system. Okay. You've got some options here, right? Uh, you can save a game here but unfortunately you can only save one state at a time you can't save more than one, more than one right if you have a license ideally it should let you save it as me you know five times up to five times or so all right um, let's go ahead and go up let's go ahead and go into input first thing okay mine's already set up with the xbox 360 go ahead and press that um, you can change this if you want to change that, no problem. Uh, right here, the main menu. So I've got it set up uh, so that I hit the hot key and it will take me to the main menu. If I want to exit the emulator, I've got it set up so I can press the back key in my Xbox controller and it will automatically as it exit the emulator. So you can choose what you want to do right there, all right? All right, let's go into video. Uh, for window size, you can select other options. Now, realize that if you do select something else, it's going to kind of mess up for a while there. So just exit it, and when you go back, it should be fixed, okay? For the time, you're going to leave it right there. Game aspect ratio, you can put a 4 or 3, or you can select 16 by 9 or stretch it, okay? I kind of like it, 16 by 9, but everybody's different. All right. This option, vertical sync. In some games, I noticed that the games will stutter. Yeah, if it does stutter, uh, you may want to go ahead and turn it off. Okay. All right. And this one here, this option, polygon saw accuracy. Uh, depending upon the system you have, the more powerful your computer is, the higher the option you can choose. Okay. 64 layers is the highest option. It is the most accurate. You know, look the prettiest on, on the game, but it does require a very powerful system. So, for the time being, I want to go ahead and leave it at the lowest level. All right. All right. Let's go system. Everything stays the same there. All right. So let's go ahead uh, and play this game. So this is how the game will look like in 1080p. Press the hotkey. Okay, so that will bring me to back to the main menu right here. And as I mentioned earlier, I can save the game only to one slot. Okay, I can't save it in none of these other slots because it wants me to have a license, right? And furthermore, uh, if I had a license, I could choose the resolution of the game to be 4K. So I thought to myself, since I have a license, I wonder if there's a way I can copy that license and put it into about to set a directory uh, and have the full benefits of the emulator. Uh, and it turns out that there is a way to do it. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. All right, for those of you who don't know, this is the website for Redream Emulator. And of course, I will be providing a direct link in my video description. Before we download the license, let me go ahead and show you how compatible this emulator is with the games out there. You can see there that approximately 92% of the games are compatible with Redream. That's how awesome this emulator is. So let's go ahead and download the license. Uh, and you can go ahead and purchase the license if you haven't purchased the license. Well, for those of you who have already licensed, go ahead and go to uh, settings 
and then right here you can download the license okay I already got it on my portable hard drive you can go ahead and save it on your thumb drive or portable hard drive okay once it's saved uh, go ahead and power up but I said I'm going to show you the exact location where you need to copy that license so that it will work perfectly all right see you in a bit all right, so we're back in Batocera, and let's go ahead and press the F1 key. I'm going to go down to my portable drive, where I have my license, select and copy, okay? Let's go to share, let's go to user data, okay? Select the view button. Make sure that you have select show hidden, all right? Show hidden, all right? So from there, I'll go into system, and then I go to configs, okay? Uh, and don't worry, I will provide uh, a d link, a directory link in my description, right? And then from there, there's Redream. Go ahead and paste it. And there it is. Now it's gonna work. Close it. You don't even have to reboot the system. It should work. All right, let's go back to Daytona. All right, go ahead and press the hot key. Let's go into video. You can see there, now you can choose the resolution. Okay, all the way to 4K, all right? Again, if your system is powerful enough, you can choose 4K. If it's not that powerful, you're not gonna be able to choose 4K. All right. You notice too in the saves. Right? Now I can save it in all these different slots as well. Right. Okay. Let me show you before and after. Right. Let's just go to native resolution. All right. And then let me go to my saves. All right. Oops. All right. Let me go here and load up this game. Okay. That's native resolution. Now I'm going to go ahead and choose 4K. Look how much better it looks. It looks fantastic. Let's go ahead and play some game. show you another game here all right let me show you before and after go ahead and load this this is the game for this right there all right let me show you Much better that looks. 
Looks fantastic. Alright. So again, I think it's worth getting for five bucks uh, a license for Redream. Re you'll have more options. Uh, and of course, you'll be able to play in 4K resolution. All right, so let me go ahead and show you uh, the difference between 1080p and the 4K for a particular game. This is for Border Down, okay? And this was captured in a 1080p card. All right, so there we have 1080p, all right? Look at the spaceship. Look at the divs in the 4K. See, yeah, it's got more detail. Look at this building right here. 1080p. 4K, 1080p, 4K. Look at this building. 1080p, 4K. So you see that? It's got more detail. Uh, so this is the reason why it's just worth going ahead and paying five bucks for Redream, uh, especially if you got a 4K TV monitor, which you're play, planning to play this on. Uh, it looks so much better. All right that wraps it up if you have found this video useful then please consider liking this video uh, and furthermore if you're not a subscriber please consider subscribing i've got more tutorials more content coming real soon and in fact for my next video uh, i'm going to show you share with you some setup guides for the dolphin emulator in fact there's certain things you can do to make the dolphin emulator better and but just said i'm going to show you that next time so thank you for watching and i'll see you soon Bye.